Denim is one of the most durable apparel fabrics, which is why it's a popular choice for jeans, shorts, jackets, skirts, and dresses. I'll be offering some tips for sewing with this type of fabric. The most common issues in dealing with denim are, it can be a heavyweight fabric and can be difficult to sew, it can fray a lot. Please realize that not all home sewing machines can handle heavy duty sewing, so don't force your machine if it's having trouble. That being said, denim can come in different weights, so you can find lighter weight denim to use. The heavier the weight, the better it is for structured garments. Before cutting out your fabric, pre-treat your denim by washing it separately and drying. This will pre-shrink it. You can cut out your fabric pieces with either scissors or using a rotary cutter, but make sure to use sharp blades. With really heavy weight fabric, cut in a single layer rather than a double layer. Also, make sure you're following the grain line rule by having the grain line arrow be parallel with the salvage, otherwise your garment may accidentally twist around the body when finished. Choose the right fabric marker. With dark denim, you'll want to use chalk or a white fabric pencil so it's easier to see. Because denim frays a lot, you may consider doing a zigzag stitch or overcast to finish all the raw edges before starting construction to minimize fraying. When pinning pieces together, you may need to use extra long pins or clips for heavier denim. For sewing needles, use a jeans needle, either 9014 or 116. When sewing seams, you can use all-purpose thread. But for top stitching, you can use a heavy-duty or top stitch thread for the upper threading and all-purpose in the bobbin. Test sew on fabric to adjust the sewing machine tension. You may want to use a slightly higher thread tension and a slightly lower presser foot pressure. For heavyweight denim, increase thread length to a 3 or a 3.5. When sewing, you can use a regular presser foot, but consider using a walking foot to get over thick or difficult areas. To get over humps, you can use a leveler to level out the presser foot or place a stack of fabric under the foot and behind the needle. Also sew slow through difficult areas, turning the hand wheel manually if necessary. When working with denim, pressing is really important. You'll want to use a high heat setting and steam. To really flatten seams, you can use a clapper or use a mallet to hammer areas after applying steam. Things can get bulky really fast, so for closed seams, you'll want to grade them, which means seam allowances are trimmed at different lengths. If you need to use facings or a lining, choose something lightweight to make sure the garment doesn't get too bulky. If you want to use interfacing, which is still recommended for things like collars, you can use a fusible lightweight interfacing. If your denim has a stretch, use a fusible trico interfacing. If you want your garments to look professional, consider using a flat belled seam. See the description for a link to a tutorial. It's also professional to use tack buttons for closures. These can be applied easily with a hammer. With denim, you'll want to have a wider hem allowance due to bulk at least over an inch. A good measurement is to fold three quarters of an inch and then fold again the same measurement and stitch along the top folded edge. Because it's a heavy duty fabric, denim can be a little tricky, but it can give you fantastic results and produce durable and quality garments. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.